guys, I'm one of the, Lisa, one of the instructors for Invest Leisure. We're going to take you through a bums and tummies workout today. So you need a mat, space to move, water if you want it. If you've got any medical issues, make sure you see a GP or a physio or qualified person if it's musculoskeletal. And I'm going to give you different options. Do what suits you. It's not choreographed in type of music or anything. Just go at your own pace, take your options. Okay, so we're going to start with the warm up. So we're going to start, just have a nice big march, swing the legs through, so you're using the tummy to pull the legs up. If you'd rather jog, you can. So just try and get the blood pumping a wee bit. If you'd rather do that, that's fine. Then from there, other side. If you're totally uncoordinated like me, just do what you can. Squeezing together at the top. One more. Going to work into the obliques, set the feet, Ten, gently just tip over. Taking a stretch one side, connecting the hip and the ribs on the other. I'm just going to roll the shoulders, forwards and back, good. And then just do four or five circles each hip. From there, shoulders back. Flick the feet, chest tall. Option. <laughs> I've got someone jumping outside the window. Or squat stance, feet just outside the hips or wider if you prefer, keep your chest tall, whatever you want with the hands, just sit the butt back and down, knees track over the toes. Whatever you want with your hands, options yours. Swarming the legs up and the glutes. Okay, we're going to come to the floor, lie on your back, we just roll down here, yourself comfy now this, you can put your hands flat, hold the mat, up hold the weight and drop it on your face, you do whatever's comfortable, just glute bridge, just squeeze in the glutes, you can wind your hand underneath you if you want. Connect through the front of the abs, squeeze through the glutes. So you want to keep these legs nice and straight, like they're against the wall, so you're not flapping. Just relax the shoulders and the face. Release the hands, roll down. Set the feet. We're going to continue this warm up. So. I'm going to do what's called the dead bug. There's different ways to do the dead bug, but what I need to focus on is trying to keep the pelvis that position, so you're not, when you extend the legs, you're not tipping down that way. So you've got to brace hard through your abs. Now, if you've got quite a, a gap in your lower back like me, you're going to have to bring your bum underneath you like that, brace your abs to begin with. So breathe in, legs up. Arms up, suck the shoulders into the floor. Extend, diagonal here. Now this is where you brace through your abs to try and avoid when that pelvis dip. So it should be fairly slow. Control. So you 
focusing on that spinal alignment, trying to draw the belly button in and up. Few more. And again through those lower abs. One more. Good. We're going to flip on our front. So we just lengthen the feet away, hands here, spine nice and long. So what we're going to do is work this diagonal pair, this glute, this shoulder. So then spine stays long, head towards the floor, lift. Like you're swimming, squeezing that glute. And that's it. If it's too much, just lift the leg or lift an arm. So you want to keep a brace in the tummy so you're not arching too much. So we squeeze back and down. Good. Just going to pop our hands by our shoulders, tuck the toes. Now you're going to push, jump, hike, whatever yourself into plank position. Could be here, could be knees down, could be here, here, you do what suits you. So a nice plank, a little brace to the tummy. Remember to breathe. We're just going to step one leg forward and a leg forward. We're going to start on our feet. Squat stands. Whatever you want with your hand. If you've got a weight, kettlebell you can hold it if you don't you can have a big two litre bottle of water hold that that works just as well or body weight is fine so whatever you want with your hands here here use it to drive through so we're just going to sit into these squats so when you focus on pushing the knees out weight and outside the feet and the heels try to keep that chest lifted at your own pace. Keep that chest high. Release. So we're going to extend, you can option, you can stay with that. Or you can get a little bit more. So what we're going to do is come down and extend. So you extend through the ankles, the knees and the hips, but you keep the weight back, so you're not coming up on the balls of your toes. So it's a glute squeeze to drive the heels off the floor. If you've got your weight, you can lift it overhead. If not, whatever you want with your hands. So you reach those abs, squeeze those glutes. chest tall. Building a bit heat. Couple more. Last one. Good. So third set. You can stay with either of those two or you can take the third option which is a little squat jump. So we just Land nice and soft. So power from the glutes on the way up. A few more. Good. Lovely. Okay, we're going to work these obliques. Side muscles. Connect. Keep all your insides in. So, if you use a weight, you can go in your bottom hand or your top hand. Set the feet what's comfortable for you. We open out. It's not the same as the warm up. It's much straighter. Like you've got shoulder blades against the wall. Tip across. If you want more, look up to your top hand. So 
So try and keep that spine straight. One more. Swap sides. You're fine, you've got more range for one side than the other. That's okay. Few more. Good. Okay, we're going to stay with that rotational, that theme work in the obliques. A bit of rotation with your wood chop. Hands together your weight. We go here, drive round. So it's not a humpy back. Straight back, drive from the glute and the feet. Side one, let's go. Nice big movement. Draw that belly button in and up. Squeezing that glute as you come through. Other side. Good. Drive through from the floor. Good. Okay, from there. We're going to work on these glutes a little bit with some lunges. Doesn't matter if you lunge forwards or backwards. If you find it easier to come backwards, that's fine. You want to come nice and wide in your lunge, like your feet are on train tracks. Drop down, up. Just tuck that tailbone, lift the chest. Leg number one. You can hold your weight in front if you want, if you're using a weight. So push that front knee out. Drive through the heel, activate the glute. Two more this side. Swap legs. Set it up, nice wide stance. If you need to shuffle to get into it, that's fine. Good. So you want to try and drop that back knee almost on the floor. Keep that abdominal brace. Good. Two more. Good. We're going to add to that. So, we're going to get to the bottom, anchor through our core, and add a bit of rotation. So, again, it doesn't matter if you're coming forwards or back. Just lunge down, weight or no weight, come back out. Same again. Stay on the same leg. So we need to brace hard for those abs. One more this side. We shake other leg. You're probably finding one leg stronger than the other. That's okay. So brace these abs hard. Last one. Good. Okay. So we're going to work on these glute meets, these side muscles here to begin with. So we're going to work back in our squat stance and then a variation of a lunge. So my normal squat stance is about here. We're just going to come wider, turn the toes out slightly. If you're holding the weight, you can come between your legs. If you don't, hands are going to go straight down. Different options. So you want this, you want to focus on pushing the knees out, lift through. So you can just stand up. If you want more, little bounces. So we lift that chest. Sink low, driving these knees out. We'll work your reductors, the inner thigh muscles as well. Get those knees pushed. Try not let the feet roll in. Squeeze out. Couple more. Race. Good. Okay. Good side lunge. 
ankle, knee, hip, pelvic issues, you might find that's your option. That's absolutely fine. You might want a bit more if you don't have those issues. You might want to come fully here. That's fine. Full option. Sweep over. You can take the weight with you. Okay, whatever option you're going to do, let's begin. So you want to imagine whatever option you're doing, this hip, push that way, push that way. So you open out the inner thigh on this side, glute that way. Whatever's comfortable on your hands, hands down if you need to. Squeeze into that glute on your standing leg. more. One more each side. Okay, good job. We shake, have a drink if you want. We're going to lie down on our back, face up. So, different options. So we're ready down the two leg bridge. If that's your option, Fine, you can stay up or you can pulse. If you want a little bit more, what we're going to do first of all, first leg, then either change in the air by keeping the glutes high or you can come up and down. Whatever option you want, hands here, hold the mat, cross chest, hold the weight. Okay, whatever option you want, let's go. So squeeze through the glutes. Try to get the pelvis nice and high. Here if you need to be. That's okay too, that's pretty good. Reaching that high point through that pelvis. And reach down, relax, good. You can do either of those two variations or the third one we're going to do is you extend one leg, one leg bent. Now you want to imagine this is against the wall so it's not flapping right. You've got to keep this leg strong. This heel goes on the floor. So you brace the core. If you're like me, you might need to tip your pelvis back this way and hold tight through your tummy. Lift, down, change legs. Lift, down, change legs in your own time. Harder option, arms on the chest. You just do what you can, it's not a race. Control. My weaker side, as you might notice, I've all wobble. But that's okay, we've all got something to work on. And we'll get there. Good. Couple more. These are tough. Squeeze. One more each leg. Good. Relax. Hug the knees in. Massage the lower back. Okay. We're going to work with our tummy muscles a little bit. So, again, you might need to just tip your tailbone towards your belly button. Brace through here. Hands come down away from the shoulders. We just gently peel off the floor. One, two, three, four, five. And down. We work with the breath. And down. So you want to make sure this lower lap, these lower laps are not pushing out into your hand. You need to keep it zipped in and up. Keep the neck free. Couple more. Remember to breathe. One more. Just relax. We're going to work into these lower abs a bit more. So, 
If you've got lovely flexible hamstrings, which I don't, you might be able to catch yourself behind the calf here. If you're tight like me, you're either going to be catching here, or in my case, I find it easier to grab myself in front of the shin. Now you're not just, remember what I said before about not allowing the pelvis to turn that way, you want to keep zipped here. So you keep tight through here, so your hip bones face up the way, don't point down the way. So, bring your leg up, one leg up into this position, change, make it quite deliberate as you extend out as you're working through here. Keep working that tummy, pulling it up. So you can use the breath to help you. Couple more. Good. Okay, we're going to swing around the other way. So, our setup here, if we're doing like plank things, some people prefer to be on their hands, I usually do, or some people prefer their elbows. It doesn't matter as long as you do your hand or your elbow is straight under the line of your shoulder and your knees are under your hips. Again, it doesn't matter if your knees down or if you're on your toes. So we can be here or here. So we're going to work on that, that diagonal painting we've seen before. So you set yourself up, nice flat back, tummy engaged, diagonal reach, superman plank. Squeeze. If you're on your elbows and knees, your bum will be near slightly. Same thing. Let's try and squeeze, nice flat line. Keep that tummy pulled in. Try and control the rotation as best you can. You're going to have a small degree of rotation. Good. A few more. Lovely. Come up, walk the hands. Good. Get work on these glutes. Again. You're in your hands or your elbows, your bum's going to be in the air anyway, so it doesn't matter whether you're in your hands or your elbows. So what we're going to do is we take a net breath in, set the core, out breath, leg to tabletop. Now sometimes you see people do this and dropping the knee down, that's fine, but we want to build much tension into this glute max. So we're going to control the movement, make it small. So breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, out. That's your movement. If you're fairly new, you might to drop the knee more to take the pressure off. But if you're fairly regular to exercise, try and brace, control that rotation. Your leg's going to come to the side slightly. That's okay, it's the orientation of your hip. You want more? Double tap at the top. So you hopefully by now, feeling some pressure, begin to build those glutes. Couple more. Stretch that hamstring. Set it up, leg two. Breathe in, when you're ready, out breath, leg to tabletop, let's begin. So just single to begin with. Get the movement dialed in. Small squeeze that glute max. So you're doing hip extension. Try to keep the tummy tight. So pelvis isn't rotating. Now you can double tap if you want. A few more. Relax, stretch. Good. Lengthen through the spine if you need to. Okay. Just going to work through a little plank segment. So, again, it can be hands or you might want to go into your elbows whatever you want so we're just going to go into just a straightforward plank to begin with you can go knees down if you need to half plank or half plank so you just set it up whatever plank means to you turn those abs on Do 
your knees down. Lower down, good, relax, three seconds. Hands beside, and then just come to side. All we're gonna do, if you've got back problems, you can keep your feet on the floor. So I want you to pull your shoulder blades down towards your pinky toes, towards your toes. Just lift, optional lifting the feet. Keep the tummy up, zipped up, so you're not arching too much. Relax. Hands by your side, tuck the toes, push, hike, jump back into plank. If you need to come here, that's fine. We're going to go a little mountain climber. If you're on your knees, that's fine. If not, start. Keep your body weight over your elbows or your hands. If you come back, it's going to poke your bum in the air and you're working your glutes, not your core. You can come straight, you can come oblique, you can come fast, you can come slow. Do what suits you. Build a bit of heat. Three, two, stretch back. Good. Go back to work the glutes and then come back to the core. So we're on our back. Different options for this. So you're either on your back here and you tap or hands underneath, lift. Maybe too torquey in some of your shoulders. So you do what suits you. Let's begin. Same exercise, doesn't matter. A few more. Three, two, relax, good. Okay. Little abs one to finish. The abs section, before we're going to plank. Gonna breathe in. If you're using your weight, keep it handy. Out, tabletop. Exhale, arms up, suck the shoulders into the floor. Exhale, overhead. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, push. Inhale, fold. Exhale, up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. You work with your breath. One more. Hug it in. Good. I'm just going to roll back round on our front. A couple more, we're nearly there. So, again, we're going to set it up to whatever plank means to you. So, if you're on all fours, what we did in our glutes, we're just going to do the same this side. So, you can go here, knees. If you're on your elbows and feet, that's fine. You can go double or from here, one, whatever you want to do. We're ready, let's begin. Try to keep that core locked. Whatever option suits you, take it. Just keep moving. Doesn't matter. Try and keep the butt down if you're down here. Squeeze. Keep the body weight forward. Three, two, relax. Stretch back. Good. Going to come round to seated. Do your Russian twist. If you want to use a weight or your water bottle, you can. If you've got back problems, which I do, keep your back on the keep your back on the floor, keep your feet on the floor. So we're here. 
If you don't have back problems, you can lift or you can lift and cycle. So start position is here. Try not round. Zip that core up. Sit back. Now if you don't sit back so far, you're hanging on your hip flexors. So it's a small movement and then we rotate. So it can be here. Just keep that going. Nice big rotations. Just suck that belly button in and up. Imagine you've got a block between the knees. Squeeze it in. Nice big rotations. Three, two, relax, hug, whatever you feel like you need to do. But one more exercise. So our basic setup's the same except our feet stay on the floor. Weight or hand, you've got a big spoon between the legs, we sit back, chest open. You're stood out in the pot. Chest open, abs engage. Three, two, release. Good. Have a little stretch off. Lengthen one leg. So you stretch, you get a stretch into the, those glutes. Again, lift the chest. leg straight out. You can just reach forward. Don't worry about going all the way down. It's going to collapse. If you tight hamstrings like me, you cycle and run a lot. Not a chance. As long as you can feel up the back of the leg, that's all we need to do. Other leg. Flexors. You might just fold your mat to get something under your knee. One knee forward and just lunge. If you feel it in this trail leg, you can reach around if you want a little bit more. Sink low through the hip. Other leg. Nice big breaths. Okay, and we just set the feet behind, give your body room to come back, and just allow the back to have a stretch. A few breaths here. And then gently we come up, and that's us done. Thank you all very much. Good work. We'll see you next week, and we'll work on some different exercises. Have a good week.